when I saw the videos of Tema General Hospital, power went off and babies are dying in incubators and hospital comes out and say nobody is dead. When a parent is saying, I was there and my baby is there, why are you talking nonsense? Huh? When people have a dead conscience and a dead mind, they come defending a dead government. Uh, this is a hospital. Uh, go and uh, as GH1 TV reported you have in a sewing few GH1 not us. We are talking you know what we have seen through their cameras. I stand here with authority of the resurrection power and I command this nation to come alive to arise again to live again. This time kind of nonsense cannot go on. If a nation like Ghana, after 67 years, is still struggling with electric power, that is a dead nation. If the leadership Nana Dutankwa, Kufuado and his government cannot do and fix that, that is a dead government. That is a dead marriage. If your children cannot obey you uh, as they do it unto the Lord, for that is the first promise, the first commandment with a promise. That is a dead situation. And so we have dead faith, just like dead works. I want to talk. If a nation like Ghana, after 67 years, is still struggling with electric power, that is a dead nation. If the leadership Nana Dutankwa Kufuado and his government cannot do and fix that, that is a dead government. I'm talking to you. When I talked about a dead husband, you didn't say anything about it. When I talked about a dead wife, you didn't say anything about it. When I talked about a dead situation, you didn't respond to that. But the moment I mentioned the government of Ghana, you have a situation, a dead nation with a dead conscience who does not have any fear of God, a dead economy with a dead currency who do not fear God and does not tremble at his word who eschew evil and eschew you know truth we resent truth and we do not even want to embrace anything that is truthful I stand here and I speak to Ghana call me arise call me arise call me arise we were in Borga when I saw the videos of Tema General Hospital. Power went off and babies are dying in incubators and hospital comes out and say nobody is dead. When a parent is saying I was there and my baby is there. Why are you talking nonsense? Huh? When people have a dead conscience and a dead mind they come defending a dead government. Uh, this is a hospital. Uh, go and uh, as GH1 TV reported you have in a sewing few GH1 not us. We are talking you know what we have seen through their cameras. I stand here with authority of the resurrection power and I command this nation to come alive to arise again to live again. This kind kind of nonsense cannot go on. I was in Tamale Airport. Whilst I landed within just about 15 minutes I stayed in Tamale Airport there were three light offs off and then Kurosawa Bell, the you know conveyor belt stops and then we are still waiting for our in an airport, airport for power goes off and you, in an airport Ghana, you are sick, if not dead. We have ministers of states who can speak as if they are speaking to the chickens of their village. We voted you in power, gave you authority. We give you free fuel, free electricity, free water. You travel free and we give you per diem. And you talk nonsense in the face of Ghanaians like this. God will judge you. God will judge you. God will judge you.
If God does not judge the leaders of Ghana, God must apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. If God does not judge Ghanaian leaders, God must apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. It is sad that all the madness going on in our nation, the church is quiet. Sometimes I ask, where are our leaders? Where are they? Why can't we point out and tell people, stop it! Stop it. Why can't we? John the Baptist stood and told those soldiers, he said, who have asked you to run from the damnation that is coming? They are still alive. I am not reminding anybody of pain and sorrow, but those police officers that died at Chichiru, my heart goes to their families. That was a very, very painful day. On the line of duty, um, just before Easter, just before Easter, three of them, boom, at the spot. The Lord bless their souls. Let me ask you a question. America and Ghana, which has the biggest population? America has 370 million people living in America. Ghana has 32 million people. Which one is growing its population? Which one has a demand? Which one? China and Ghana. Which one should be having power cuts? When there is no vision, the people perish. And when there is no leadership, there is no vision. I want to announce to this nation, except you repent and return to the Lord, you will wallow in madness. Because the secrets of God are with them that fear him. If anybody does not fear God, God will hide the secrets from you. Because you don't fear God. And I stand here to tell you that Ghana, you don't fear God. And your leaders don't fear God. The church don't fear God. The Muslims, the Hindus, the Hare Krishnas, the, the atheists, the Baha'is, the Ekankas, the, all the others, including atheists. I call you all to repentance. I'm, I'm standing here and I'm telling you, repent. This is resurrection. I speak to every, I mean, you know, the, Psalm number 25, I love verse number 14. The secret of the Lord are with them that fear him. God can read it. As we are seated here, nobody can tell me there is gold under this church. Except God tells us there is gold. That means that the God who put it there can tell us it is there. We have more wealth than we, we can ever imagine. But we can't see it. When that girl, that, when that Ishmael cried, the mother had already cried. And the Bible said, and the Lord opened the eyes of the mother to see the well. That means that the well had been there all this while. But because we are blind, Jesus said, when the blind leads the blind, they all go into a ditch. That is the situation of this nation. Blind people are leading blind people. Blind people are leading blind people. Today is resurrection. And I declare to me, arise, arise, arise. Me, I don't care about your party. So I don't need anything from them. My job is to defend the Lord and his word. Anything that I've crept into the church that is not of God, my job is to march it out. My job is to do the cleansing and the purging of the church and the nation until the coming of Christ Shiloh. That is my job. My job is to rebuke you and to put you in alignment and correction. My job is to intercede for you. That is what I am doing right now. We 
don't hit anybody and we are not attacking any personalities. My job is that righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any people. My job is to tell you that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. That is my job. My job is to let you know, you know, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered into the heart of man. What God has for those who love him. Yeah, but he has revealed unto us by his spirit. Yeah, my job is to tell you that thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. My job is to tell you that. My job is to tell you, repent ye and believe for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. My job is to tell you that he is coming quickly and his reward is is with him uh, uh, to give unto every man according to his dear works. My job is to tell you that God shall put, you know, bring all works into judgment. Every hidden thing, whether good or bad. My job is to tell you we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ and we will be judged according to our works and deeds. My job is to tell you that God is love, God is kind, God is favorable but the same God is a judge the same God will judge every man according to the content of their heart their conscience and their motives my job is to tell you that he is coming again his reward is with him to give unto every man my job is to tell you in my father's house are many mansions if not I wouldn't have told you I go to prepare a place for you and when I return unto you I will come back and receive you unto myself and where I am there also you shall be my job is to let you know as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem so has the Lord compassed his people round about my job is to tell you that the Lord will bless your food and your water and there will be none barren in your land my job is to tell you he will set a table before you in the presence of your adversaries and the cause oil to be smeared in your head your cup shall overflow my job is to tell you that God will make you the head not the tail above not beneath the top not the bottom my job is to tell you that uh, God shall bring the every deed of man into account my job is to let you know that my job is to let you know that you are pilgrims and strangers on earth we are all transiting we will all pass through it is just a matter of time but what we do here would determine the judgment my job is to tell you love your neighbor as yourself and if you don't want them to do any hateful thing to you don't do that to them what you wish other people do unto you do likewise unto them that is my job love and hate not let brotherly love continue yeah for the works of the flesh are fornication and uh, witchcraft and I don't worship but the fruits of the spirit is love and peace and kindness and righteousness and brotherly kindness and, and self control my job is to tell you that and if the enemy is exacting on you my job is to tell you the son of man came to destroy the works of the devil and so I command every yoke and pattern that is laying on your head and on your space and on your household against you against your children against your spouse against anybody who is in your space I declare in the name of Jesus by reason of the anointing every yoke shall be broken I declare to me I said I declare to me I declare to me arise clap your hands all ye people I have never never understood how people can cry in a funeral in a crowd in Kwe or Kumase and in just about 25 minutes they can wipe their tears and be and be pulling a drumstick of chicken I have never understood the phenomenon I mean, seriously, I have never understood the phenomenon that somebody can be able to get angry because they were not served food in a funeral. 
somebody's mother or father died and they are crying and your business is to go and enjoy fried rice and jollof rice very interesting i remember when my grandmother passed away and it was the one week and uh, uh, celebration and you know in Ulysses, they they said oh let's do this very quick uh, there's just an announcement of the date and I remember how the choir people of her church were so angry. The church members of her church were so angry that we didn't give them breakfast. One minute they were crying. The next minute they wanted breakfast. The Bible said, look at this in the message version of the Bible. Interesting. He said, provoked to scarcism. They told he didn't know what he was talking about. Jesus rather didn't know. But when he had sent them all out. And sometimes when you have this kind of enormity of doubt and uh, scarcism around you, you will need to put out all those people within the space and close the door on them. I'm telling you, if not, the, the faith cannot, the faith that you place upon that situation cannot be activated. Oh yeah, my darling, seriously.